Welcome, this is item number 20 from the release spring 2014 test items for 7th grade TCAP math. Now, the table below lists the total cost for different numbers of bags of sand. At this rate, what is the total cost for 21 bags? The cool thing about this question is there is a few ways you can do it. The not cool thing about this question is everything else, because I'm not delusional enough to believe this kind of stuff is awesome. But it is what it is. So let's talk about extending out if you know your multiples of three, you can actually get a pretty good heads up about where things are going with this. So, because three plus three is six, plus three more is nine, plus three more is 12, plus three more is 15. Now if you extended it, plus three more would give you 18. And then plus three more from there would give you 21. So if I could just figure out how much it's going up every time, I can just extend it out two more blocks and get my answer. So let's just do a little bit of subtraction. But you'll notice that these are going up, so your answer should be positive. The real likely thing that people will do when they don't when they get weirded out by the signs is they do seven point two six minus fourteen point five two, but just subtract the other way. Fourteen point five two minus seven point two six. When you do that you get seven point two six. Then I'll do 21.78 minus 14.52. And you get 7.26. And guess what? 7.26. Bet you can't guess the last one. 7.26. The reality is it's seventh grade. The curriculum talks about making sure they go up by the same amount every time. They're not going to weird you out. You'll notice that these went up the same every time. So all I'm going to do is just continue the pattern. I'll take 36.30 and add, because now instead of going backwards to find this number, I'm going forward. So I need to add it. So 36.30 plus 7.26. And I get 43.56. Point five six, and then I just need to do it one more. I'm going to write that out just to show you, in case you didn't see where it's going. That's it. 50.82. By the way, if we look at some of the answers, it's 7 to 14 is at least 7. I mean, that's just the way that it goes. We're somewhere in that idea. This doesn't do anything. 21 bags of sand, what? There's no way it could cost more uh, for 3 bags of sand than for 21, so that's out. 38 doesn't make much sense. It's going up by more than that. So really, visually, these are the only two. So my suggestion is you just draw out the table a little bit. It doesn't take that much extra effort, and you're going to have to do something with it anyway. So why don't you do that? What were they hoping you would do? They want you to like, who cares? They don't want you to do this, but I, who cares what they want? It's your test. Do as well as you can on it for, and punish them for making such a ridiculous test. So if it goes by 7.26, they want you to divide by this 3, which you could still write all this out and just not write the last two parts. So if you divide by 3, what that tells you is the price per bag. So it's $2.42 per bag. To find out what it is for 21 of those bags, you just multiply 2.42 times 21. And shockingly enough, it gives you 50.82. That's a real mathy sort of rate of change method to finding the answer. But in this case, if they give you something so simple, punish them for it. How could they just bother you with this for no reason? Just extend out your lines a little bit show yourself exactly that 21 is 50.82 and earn the points that you deserve to make. Don't do something foolish and just do it one time and write this because you're too lazy to write out one number in a box. You're better than that. And you should show them that you're better than that because that's what they're trying to get you on. They basically wrote this problem because they think that you are so clueless about math that you can possibly figure out that if you just extend a table out like basically anybody on the planet could do who could do basic addition multiplication then you could figure, they, they just figure you can't do that, so you'll miss it. Prove them wrong. As well you should. This is an easy question. Extend out the things to where you can see the exact answer match with the exact bags. Get the answer that you deserve to get. And earn a better score. Simple.